Right, here we go, back in the chair. It's been two weeks. My name's Ron, this is Ron 12 Inches. And it's uh, the first time you've looked at the channel and wondering what it's all about. And it's all about music. It's all about your vinyl, your CDs, your uh, iPods, whatever, your Spotify. Right, music, what have I been buying? Uh, there's your 12 inch music, there's a bit of Thompson Twins there. First two albums, 80s band, uh, not bad. Some of the stuff on there is not bad, seriously. I've got that nice and cheap on eBay. You can't get your hands on a bit of 12 inch. Sometimes you can't get your hands on it. There's a seven inch, uh, Phyllis Nelson, Move Closer. Um, something, I think I bought that in a little job lot. Uh, nice little song, you know what I mean? You can't get, you know what I mean? A fantastic song, you know what I mean? Very iconic. Ben Howard as a CD. Uh, it's called Collections from the White Out. Uh, unfortunately, I did have that on a vinyl, um, 12 inch deluxe, double vinyl signed, um, personalised, uh, um, signatures to myself uh, and I gave it a spin about three or four times and I couldn't get on with the album uh, and that's, I'm disappointed you know what I mean because I love Ben Howard I picked him up at the BBC studios to take him up at the uh, to Camden Roundhouse for a Mercury Awards um, ceremony at early two, well, 2000 and whatever his first first album and um, yeah I'm disappointed with that album I, I played it three or four times I just cannot get I don't know I just can't get into it perhaps it's I will give it another couple of spins just in case, but obviously I've added the, uh, I've added the vinyl now. Just um, usually after two or three spins, I can tell whether I'm going to get right into it. Some of there's, I don't know how many songs on there, 14 or whatever, and there's only three or four that I can really, um, it may grow on me a bit later. Uh, right, what else I've been buying? There's a little um, bit, bit of Bruce Springsteen there. Uh, that's a double album. It's only got three songs. That's a letter to you. Uh... That's his last album. There's a bit of Kiss, Kiss World, uh, Crazy Crazy Nights, Rock and Roll Night, uh, God Save, God Gave Rock and Roll uh, to Me, and I Was Made for Loving, all the rest of it. Yeah, fantastic little uh, double album there, great stits. Uh, Foo Fighters, latest album, uh, Medicine at Midnight. Now, a lot of people diss that album and give it a thumbs down. I'll give it a solid eight, I think that's a good album. The Medicine of Midnight, the actual title track on that album is fantastic. Well worth a listen. And if you think that's worth a listen, this is even better. This is uh, Tom Grennan's second album. Um, great little artist, seriously, a fantastic voice. Uh, Every Road is called, well worth a listen. Um, so there's another little bit, uh, that's a little bit of blue vinyl there. Now this little, uh, this is a band, Meg White and Jack White. Um, white Stripes, great stitch, comes with a slip mat. Put the slip mat, on your turntable, put your vinyl on top, and off you go. And if you've got a bit of coloured vinyl, the uh, the old robot comes through the um, coloured vinyl. It looks like it's embossed in the uh, record, so that's uh, a nice little thing going on there. Kings of Leon, uh, when you were yourself, that was uh, that's the last album. Uh, when you see yourself, should I say that's the last album? That's another one I bought. There's a Cherry Ghost. That's an artist you may not have heard of. Uh, probably the most iconic out, uh, single they released was Mathematics. That's a fantastic song. This is I've just got this today as it goes. It's uh, live at the Trades Club, Ebden Bridge, um, Scottish band, I think. Uh, lovely little group. And I've got a bit of Thunder. Uh, that's their latest album. That's on a, a multicoloured vinyl, orange and blue, I think. Um, another double album. So, yes, I've been investing plenty in and growing my, my collection. Like I said, I've been collecting for about 45 years. You've got about 6,000 bits all over the place. So I'm going to throw out a few selections to you, um, see what you think. This is going to be six of the best. So I'm going to start off with some soft songs and then build up to some right heavy stuff towards the end. Right, here we go. We're going to tick out the first one, 1990s singles person, like uh, an artist. Her name is called Alana Morissette. Now, if you've, um, you must have heard of Alana Morissette. If you haven't, you've been living in a cave. And her uh, debut album, I think, was uh, Jaggy Little Pill, and obviously she had an ironic on it. Um, but this album is called Alana, it's called... Uh, such pretty folks in the road. It's the last album that she released, and I'm going to throw off the uh, take the song um, "Losing the Plot." Fantastic song, Sl slow song, but a fantastic, really, really good song. You know what I mean? If you want to chill out, lower the lights, get the missus into the mood, sling that record on. You can sling your move closer on afterwards, and uh, Bob's your uncle, and you never know what's uh, around the corner. Oh, you slung that on, you may get your uh, leg over. Right, there's an artist you may not have heard of, Freya Ridings. Debut album came out in 2019. I think she started doing a bit of music in 2015. Um, now, the song I'm going to take off this is uh, Lost Without You. Now, it's been used, uh, I think, in a few commercials. It might have been we used in one. I've definitely used in a few series in America, I think. Um, this is a, 
an English songwriter, it's fantastic. I think she's done a bit of writing for someone else, but it's a seriously good piece of music. It's like the, the song is um, Lost Without You, and it's just serious, proper uh, acoustic, like piano and her voice, and it's just fantastic, literally brilliant. Oh, I absolutely love it. That goes back to back. Um, right, we're going to creep up a little bit with the speed. Um, this is a band I was massively into. Um, unfortunately, I was due to see these in the, uh, King's Cross at the uh, Scala Club all back in the, oh, I can't remember now, 2007, 8 or whatever, and they pulled a the plug and disbanded right on the night of um, the show. Unfortunately, it left us all uh, standing there holding our gonads with, uh, with our tickets and no one to go and see. So um, this is the debut album from Garbage. Uh, far from the, uh, you know what I mean, the, the band is far from that. Uh, the song we're going to throw out is called Milk. Now it's the last uh, um, song on side two. Fantastic song, seriously, a brilliant, brilliant song. Um, fifth song, or fifth uh, single came off that album. That's how good that album, debut album was. They had Queer, Only When It Rains, Val, Stupid Girl, all them were singles. Uh, and the song, so that's number three. Um, and that's a, so they're your builders, you know what I mean? Now we're coming up to sort of like, like getting yourself into a sort of um, bit more of a, you know what I mean? You've had a few beers, you're sitting down there, you can start getting your, get your dancing gear on. Right, this is a band called The Rifles. Now, you may not have heard of these. Started in about 2004, I think. I think this is the debut album, came out in 2006, it's called No Love Lost. Um, very limited supply, I think it was 500 of these. I think this is worth about 120 on your old eBay if you want to go and collect it. Uh, it's been repressed, um, reissued, so you can probably get it for a lot lower. Um, but a lot of people like the first press and that's been played probably three or four times. Some I'm going to throw off in here is called Peace and Choir. Now that's got a, quite a resonating uh, snare drum running through it and like electric guitars, proper, you know what I mean, it's a proper feel good song. And um, it's, it's sort of like a bit of a throwback to the late 90s, 70s, early 80s with the mods, you know what I mean, Sigra Fair, Purple Arts, The Jam, all things like that. If you're into that sort of thing, you'll love that band, seriously. Unfortunately they've disbanded now, but they, they pulled out about five, five albums. Um, and, a, and a few other things like compilations, like great Deeds, uh, acoustics and things like that, live albums. So well worth checking that band out. All right, we're going a little bit, ramp, I'm going to ramp it up a little bit more, but this song is probably a little bit lower than that last one. So the band I'm going to talk about is Muse. Now I went to see these at I was called, oh, 2000 and whatever. I, I, I'm not serious. The, 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 the place was rocking. It, the, the floor was absolutely bouncing. When it was every like they had some fantastic tunes out there. First three or four out, first three albums were absolutely fan, brilliant. You know what I mean? It was just proper proper anthems like songs. You know what I mean? Bouncy sort of songs. Right. This is uh, Absolution. That's a third album. The song I'm going to throw off an area is called Sing for Absolution. Um, brilliant songs. The first song I learned to play the drums to. And it is absolutely stonking good, good tune. Um, yes, so that's your number five. There's your number six. This is a band I was massively, I'm still massively into them. I think that they changed their ways. You know what I mean? When the first uh, three albums came out, then all of a sudden they went totally free, flipped it right on said, and then they released the Amnesia and Kid A, and it, and like people were sort of like, you know what I mean? And it, it sort of like it got rid of a lot of people that. Uh, they weren't into them then, it was only they, they kept their hardcore fans, and this is a band called um, Radiohead. Um, now this is uh, the fifth album called Out of the Thief. It's the last uh, album they, really, they put out on the Capital Parlophone label before they done their own stuff. Uh, got a limited edition here, audio file quality. <coughs> Oops, sorry. Don't know how much that's worth. <laughs> you know what I mean? They, you know, they, when you buy vinyl like this, they, they, they're limited issues and they just gather money as they, you know what I mean, go, the older they get, um, because they never reissue these audio file things, so that's probably worth 40 quid now. Um, and the song I'm going to throw off of there is called There There. Now that is a fantastic song, that's really, um, like it's a lot of rock layered uh, percussion um, and, that, and like bouncing into a loud climax, it just reaches to the loud, loud, loud climax, it's called There There, that is just absolutely fantastic. That's six of your best there, six, seriously, six good songs. Um, give, them a, give them a chance, don't start playing them for 10 seconds and taking them on and saying not for me. Play them once or twice, if you don't like them, give them another go a couple of days later. If you're still unsure, give it a go again, and if you're still unsure, bin it and don't bother like, putting it on your playlist. Um, there's nothing worse than having a playlist. But the thing is, most of these things on your iPhones or your iPod, you can just thumb through them anyway. Um, these are only my selections, you know what I mean? They're only my, my, my tastes on music. A lot of people may, not may you know, I mean, go against you and say, no, these are naff, I'm not interested. 
Uh, but there, there's some artists there you may not have heard of, and there's obviously some bands that you probably have heard of and not may not have heard of the songs. Or you know, I mean, obviously radio here with Creep, people may have just picked up the Creep song and not been really too much into it. But um, yeah, so that's six of my best. Right. Uh, Little chat about Record Store Day. Now, Record Store Day is coming round. Um, the releases are out there. If you don't know what Record Store Day is, it's all about independent record stores getting exclusive um, copies of uh, music from artists. So, like, HMV and things like that won't be allowed to sell it. Um, and it's all like... It's, it's mainly reissues, and it's all things that have um, been long deleted, you know what I mean, that you can't get no more. Um, so it'd be artists out of the 80s or, or artists that have never released their vinyl on um, their music on vinyl and it'll be out for the first time or it'll be coloured or it'll be a picture disc or something like that um, they do tend to be a little bit expensive um, when I first went which is about 14 years ago it's been running about 14 years the singles were about 5 99 and the album started off at about £20 now you can pay especially when they pull out these double albums and triple albums, you can pay best part of £40 for an album. So it is a little bit expensive, but it's well worth it because it's an exclusive thing. And um, if you're into your music, it, like everyone goes and like, this is a, like, usually comes around in April. Unfortunately, with the COVID and things like that, they've boshed it and kind of boshed it a couple of, last year was three drops and it didn't, I think it went flat on its, full felt, flat on its face. I don't think a lot happened. A lot of the artists pulled their products because they knew they weren't going to do a lot. But this year's I've seen there's two drops, one June the 12th, one in July sometime. I've seen the first drop and I've seen what's out there and there's a lot, lot of stuff that I'm into. So I'll be going up to, um, I usually go up to Rough Trade East in Shoreditch, but I'm going to go up to Cambridge. There's a, a shop up there called Relevant Records. It's a fantastic little place to go and buy your records. Seriously, it's... Um, it's about 15%, 20% cheaper than anywhere that I know. The only thing is I live in London, and, or just outside London, and it's up in Cambridge. Um, and if you're only going up there and buying one or two records, you're going to do too much diesel to get up there, so it's not really worth it. But if you're going to go up to a record store day, you're definitely going to save a few quid. And Andy's a nice bloke up there. So, uh, But it, it, it's, uh, it opens about 8 o'clock in the morning. They start serving about 8 o'clock in the morning and 9 o'clock in other places. You have to check your local... Um, you know, maybe store or whatever you're going to go to but you have to get there early you can't go out go way outside of 10 to 8 or whatever it opens up at 8 o'clock you're you, the queue will be halfway down the street and, and back towards your mother-in-law's you know what i mean it'd be a waste of time you won't even get on the back end when you get on the back end by the time you get in the shop everything will be gone so because they've only got very limited supplies um, these runs are very limited, you know what I mean, and there's loads of independent shops sold up and down the country, so the, the big ones tend to get a lot more of the copies than the smaller ones, and some of these small independent shops may only get three or four copies. Um, not saying that everyone in the queue is after that particular record, but if you're after it, you need to get there early. So I would advise to get to these shops no later than about two o'clock in the morning. So take yourself a flask, June, you know what I mean, it should be warm, so take yourself a drink and a sandwich or something. And uh, yeah, it's something to look forward to. Um, right, 12th of uh, April, which is uh, Monday, that's when we can all go and get our hair cut, and I badly need my hair cut. Um, because this hat has grown about six inches on top of my head since I started doing this. Anyway, um, yeah, and then we've got the May bit, uh, 17th, I think, then obviously shops start opening. I think Monday you can go and browse through your shops, your HMV or whatever. So that's all, uh, so the, like the phasing it in, so it's all going to come come good eventually. Let's hope it don't come round again and we can all get back to normal and lead a normal life. Right, uh, my name's Ron, this has been Ron's 12 Inches. Thanks for looking, stay safe, look after yourself, be lucky. Until next time, I'll catch you on the other side. All the best.